Let's say you're in high school or university and you have to write an essay. Where do you start? Is there some magic formula for success? Many people think there is. They call this the five paragraph essay. As we'll see, the five paragraph essay can be useful for beginners, but eventually you have to move on. Let's take a closer look at this model and whether you should use it. The five paragraph essay includes much more than simply having five paragraphs. It's really a set of rules that is meant to make writing a bit like plugging information into a formula. Here is how it works. Paragraph one, the introduction. Start with something to grab your reader's attention, like a dictionary definition, a famous quote, or anything interesting you can Google at two in the morning. Once your reader is hooked, you can introduce your topic and explain why people should care. Then after these opening sentences, you can get to your thesis or argument. Now, the thesis of a five paragraph essay should follow some very specific rules. It should be exactly one sentence long. It should state three arguments that are loosely related to each other. And it should be the last sentence of your introduction. Follow these rules and your teacher will love you. Don't follow them and you clearly don't know how to write a proper essay. Paragraph two, this is the first of your three body paragraphs. They're called body paragraphs because everything between the intro and the conclusion is the body of your essay. Start each paragraph with a topic sentence. This is where you state the first of your three arguments. Next, it's time to back up your argument with some facts or examples. Wrap up your paragraph with a concluding sentence or two and paragraph two is done. Notice that the beginning and end of a paragraph are more general, which is why people often compare the shape of a paragraph to an hourglass, or a hamburger, or even a beer mug. Paragraphs three and four follow the same format. Each one covers one of the arguments mentioned in your thesis statement. Before you know it, the body of your essay is done. All that's left is the conclusion. And the conclusion is easy because you mostly just have to restate your arguments. If you want to do more than summarize, you could add a clever observation, some moral lesson, or maybe a quote. And that is a five paragraph essay. Once you know the formula, you can crank out essay after essay after essay after essay. But is this a good formula? The answer is both yes and no. The five paragraph model teaches the importance of structure, which is good, but it also is extremely rigid and sometimes does more harm than good. Here's what's wrong with this model. Number one, why three body paragraphs? Why three main points? In what other discipline do people come up with such artificial rules? That's like saying that every math problem must be solved in three steps or that every recipe should have three ingredients. But what if you write a longer essay? What if your essay is 20 pages long? Do you stretch your paragraphs to be six pages long? And what do your three points have to do with each other? Are they just generally on the same topic or do they form a coherent point of view? Second problem, the five paragraph essay is extremely repetitive. You state your argument in your thesis, Repeat it in every topic sentence, state it again at the end of every paragraph, and sum it all up again in the conclusion. How much more boring can it get? Third problem, the five paragraph essay doesn't zoom in enough. If your thesis has three arguments instead of just one, it's likely that your essay will remain quite general. In addition, students are not always taught to start as close to their topic as possible. You may feel clever adding some creative hook at the beginning, but often it's better just to zoom in right away and get to the point. And one more problem, just to show that we're not limited to three points, there's little flow to this kind of essay. Each body paragraph feels like a little mini essay. Perhaps there's some reference to the overarching argument, but the paragraphs don't show much interaction. Because of these problems, we think people should stop teaching the five paragraph essay. Instead, we would like to propose a more organic structure. We'll keep some of the core principles of essay writing, but we'll relax many of the rules. 
First of all, we'll still use the basic structure of an essay. Introduction, body paragraphs, conclusion. Except you can now have as many body paragraphs as you need. We'll also keep the idea that a paragraph is usually more specific in the middle and should have some kind of topic sentence that explains what the paragraph is about. At the same time, as long as the general direction of the essay is clear, we can be more relaxed about constantly summarizing the overall argument. Next, the thesis should make just one argument, not three. If you want to have some subpoints, that's fine, but the focus should be on the one argument that connects everything. It's usually a good idea to state your thesis at the end of the first paragraph, but in a longer essay, it can come later as well. You also don't have to cram your entire thesis into one sentence. If it takes you two or three sentences to get your point across, that's fine. Next, a good essay starts as close to the topic as possible. Don't waste a lot of time with general observations or background information. With hooks and catchy quotations, just get to the point. Of course, you can add some flavor and creativity, but try to zoom in as soon as possible. As mentioned, you can use as many paragraphs as necessary to make your argument. Your average paragraph is between 3 and 12 sentences long. If your paragraph is longer than a page, it's probably too long. But more important than length is what your paragraph is about. In a good paragraph, everything fits together. That's why a paragraph usually explores just one point. If you find that you're moving on to something new, even if it's just a slightly different angle or a different example, feel free to start a new paragraph. And so the number of paragraphs depends entirely on the argument. Think of writing an essay as crossing a stream and as the paragraphs as stepping stones. The wider the stream, the more stepping stones you need. When you get to each new paragraph, use your topic sentence to explain how this paragraph connects to the last. This is called creating a transition between paragraphs. As you make the transition, try also to remind your reader of the general argument, but don't overdo it. Most readers will be able to remember where you're going. And then we get to the conclusion. Conclusions are so hard to write because you don't want to just restate everything you've already said. So avoid doing too much summarizing, especially in a short essay. Now that you've crossed the stream, it's okay to look back to where you came from, but it's also nice to look forward a little and make your conclusion interesting and exciting. So don't settle for cookie cutter essays. Allow your essay to flow naturally as you develop one main argument. If you're used to the five paragraph essay, it may be scary to leave behind such a clearly defined structure. But we're not getting rid of structure altogether. We just want you to be free to find the right structure for your essay. And that is going to be different for each new topic. So write organically and naturally and say farewell to the five paragraph essay. <laughs>